among us. It's been having its ups and downs. A ton of my computer friends don't even play it anymore. But mobile is still very much popular from what I see. And that comes with the territory of hackers, modders, and let's face it, mobile is ultimately free and so easier to access. The person I just met, I really hope was a hacker or a modder. You need to sit down. I have a story for you. I used to play with a bunch of friends in a closed lobby, but people are waiting for the new map to come out, so playing with randoms in a lobby is my only choice right now. I found one of the many lobbies that was almost full. It was on the Skeld, and so I joined. A few seconds later, and it starts up. I was the imposter, along with another random. I was disappointed. I felt being imposter, and with a random, was useless. You couldn't talk to them about strategy. But hey, I was up for the challenge. No more than one minute into the game, I see that someone was killed. Me being the other imposter, I knew who it was. In my opinion, it was a fast kill. People were walking up on me, so I reported the body. At the meeting, I was asked where I found the body. I told them in the hallway near admin. Which was true. I didn't think, however, everyone in the game would be a detective. They counted me out and the seven others that were near. The two other people left out of being safe and possible imposters? The dead person and my actual imposter teammate. A freak accident. A fluke. A 200 IQ play. What could I do? Defend them? I would be outing myself. After knowing Yellow, my teammate would be voted out. They nearly outed me by dropping a hint. But the hint, looking back on it, was also a literal death threat. The message reads, Be careful who self-reports next time. It won't be as fun. That didn't make sense considering I reported the body. I assumed they were talking about me reporting since I was also an imposter. Something that luckily the crewmates never put together. As a few more murders have gone by, caused by me and me alone of course. And no one suspects a thing. I only have to kill two more people and I win. I followed White to Medbay through the vents. They were alone. I jumped out of the vents and killed them. I ran back to the vents and I waited. And then I waited some more. I waited so long, in fact, with so little people alive, I had no choice. I had to self-report. I walked over to the body and I reported it. As I reported it, a new cutscene appeared, replacing the meeting. It showed what looked like me. In fact, it was me just an Among Us version of myself, based in real life. It started to show an imposter walking up to me in the cutscene. More than likely, the same imposter that I screwed over. I didn't understand what was going on. I felt something grab my neck. I told you not to self-report. I know who you are. We are now. Connected. Don't ruin this again for me. This is your only warning. I felt whatever it was grabbing my neck let go. <coughs> I looked at the game screen. Me and the other imposter lost. I'm not sure who this other imposter was, but... I don't think it was of this earth. <laughs> 